All right, Don is over there already. We put some uh, enforcement on the post for the chimney and Don got a head start on that. Let's see, did he use screws or nails? All right, good, he used screws. That is pretty solid. Okay, let's go inside and see. Okay, we have the marked circle where we need to cut. So I guess today what we're gonna do is cut the opening. So can you tell me what's the plan? The plan is to cut the lattice, okay. then cut the insulation in a hole, eight inches or so in diameter, and canvas in the same way, and make okay. it round. If I screw this up, then we have to build the yurt from beginning to end again. <laughs> We're not going to screw and it up. And I'm supposed to look like I'm enjoying this. Well, you don't have to do this. I can cut it if you want. Yeah. All right, here we go. Look, it's a heart. Oh, look how beautiful. We made a heart. Yay, we have a heart in the yurt. Which part? I gotta, I gotta drill. I have to put some screws in. But I have to drill. I have to hit the lattice. If right. I do it from, I want to do it from this side in, so you don't necessarily see the screws coming through the lattice if they're not covered by the plate on the inside. But I have. I don't know how to line this up without screwing from the lattice out. You know what I'm well, I would suggest Except. that you do the pilot hole. Hold on. Do the pilot because you have to do a pilot hole in the lattice before you do any screwing. Right. So you do the pilot hole from the inside all the way yeah, through, then, and then you put the screw in from the outside in. Then you're going to see a little hole. Well, no, we could touch that up with some putty, some wood putty. And, you know, I'll, I'll do that part. So we're doing pilot holes in the lattice. So we want to secure the outside metal board to the lattice. So we're just going to do four of these. I'm going to go on the outside. Why? It would be good if you press oh, okay. that against me. So up here. Uh, where are you going to screw? Because I don't want you to screw through my hand. Why not? Uh-uh. 
Thank you. I'm gonna hold it Thank at the you. bottom. Go ahead. Come on. Are you gonna do it or not? I'm holding it, but I'm not gonna hold it on You're the not. top. You're gonna screw my hand. You're not. Where are you? Here. Okay. Go ahead. Oh gosh. I hope it doesn't screw my hand. Above. No, I'm not gonna go Listen, up there. You're either gonna help me or not. I'm helping you, but you're gonna. Sc I'm not gonna get hurt. Okay. Over here. I'm doing. I'm so Turn scared. Higher. I got it. No, Higher. you're gonna screw me. Come on, Higher. hurry up. I got it. I hurry up. <laughs> you know, my finger was right next to it. Yeah, my finger was right next to it. Thank God that I moved my pinky yeah. out the way. Yeah. Shit. You touched me with the drill bit. Okay, we did it. Oh my goodness. It was trying to screw me. Do you need me to go on the inside? Yes, okay. Take a look. Now I see that you tucked in this metal part underneath the roof balance which is perfect this way the water doesn't go inside of it you're a genius okay so now that we finished securing the outside flashing we're going to put in the um, double wall pipe and the inside flashing and just test it and make sure that it lines up that it fits before we secure the inside flashing with screws yes. we've already attached the back flashing and now we're going to attach the inner flashing we have the pilot holes in place and so now we're just going to screw it in and i want to say thank you thank you to pete from center reach done right for all your help So we noticed that the T-support is not lining up with the Durotech pipe that's coming through the wall. So we're needing to make an adjustment. So we uh, we marked the two posts so that we know exactly where to screw that on. So we want to make sure that it's leveled and lined up easily. So it's taken us a little time, but better to get it right. So we're going to be installing the T support here and screwing it to the post and then the T will go on the support and attach to the pipe that goes inside but a bigger drill bit oh but um we're having trouble aligning it and we just want to make sure we get it right so we marked where we're supposed to screw in the T support and now we find out that we need a new drill bit let's see I'm gonna do a pilot hole with the new drill bit. Oh, it was easy. 
she had to screw in. Lisa. Oh, let's build a yard. He's <laughs> making fun of me. Oh, let's build a yard. <laughs> That's a fun idea. <laughs> Listen, it's beautiful. Come on, let's just... No regrets now. <laughs> Understand, but it's not even close. Okay? But we did the line where you said. No. It has to be leveled, so let's take it out. You gotta blame me if it's not leveled. Here, Ma I'm gonna marker. give you the where's marker. The, where's the marker? I'm gonna give you the marker. You're gonna mark it. Yeah. Way off. That's where the top has to be. The top. Right? The top of this has to be there, so that's what you're going to use to line it up. It's not lined up straight. You have it at an it's angle. Fine. That doesn't so when matter. you move it. No, that doesn't matter. It's fine. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. You didn't give me the level the right way. I didn't give him the level the right way. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> this is why husbands and wives should not be doing major projects together. <laughs> holding a lot of things here. Okay. You want to check the level? Now that it's a more. Well, now that it's screwed on, can you please check the level before we do the next part? <laughs> there, you have to hold it up. No, these have 
there. When you do the next screw, you have to have it up there. That's well, it. I don't. But I'm gonna hold it up for you. No, I don't. You wanna mark it? No, just take that. Hold on. Just take that. We're going to put this on. So now we'll put in the nuts and the I have to tighten bolts. these. But I don't have it. Uh, Is it inside the, the yard? What kind of screwdriver I'll do you need? I'll tighten it later. After everything's fit. Well, doesn't the drill bit have a screwdriver? To no, it's, this is a bolt. A bolt. Give me the cow eyes again. <laughs> I'm gonna fall. Oh my god. And this is how you put in the boat. <laughs> we got four of them, two on each side. Just putting them back on because it was hard to put it. Yeah, that's adjustable. because I think we need to push the other one out more. Shall I do that? No. It's got to line up. I think it's fine. You could just take the other one and tilt it out more. We'll see from the inside. All right. You want to go in or you want me to go in? No, you go in. Okay, I'm going in. I'm going in! To your right? Twist it to your right. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't push it. Twist or push? Twist it. That means trying to turn it? Yeah. Exactly. Keep going. <sighs> Keep going. Okay, wait, it's not so easy. I'm not sure if it's lining up right or working on it. And when the inside. 
side twisting it, and he's out there trying to adjust. Lordy, lordy, lordy. drop it until I say because my fingers okay I'm getting my fingers out of the way okay ready watch your fingers okay all right okay you need this here this Daniels why it bothers you come on yeah, let's put this are you ready to be fairly close to the end to the, back? To okay. the edge of the stone. So we had to move the slate and the stove because it, the pipe didn't line up well with the, the hole that we put in. Can you go to the hardware store for me? What do you need? From the hardware store. To remove that plastic, it has a plastic seal on it. All right, we should have removed this plastic before. If you guys are doing this on your own, so we had to move the stove twice to be able to line it up, line the piping with the extension that goes out, it goes in just fine, and then. In here, we're gonna seal this with some fireproof sealant for insulation. We're almost there. Good job, honey. We have a good team. Put the red thing behind it. Let's see how it looks. Please. It doesn't move, right? It's not loose. Does it have to be um, on top of the stone or just on the floor? It's on the floor. Okay, because you're going to nail it, you're going to um, screw it to those um, rafters supports? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm gonna use those little brackets to attach it from behind so we don't see them. Wow, he's all about the aesthetics. It needs to move a little more to the right. The it's not lined up. It needs to move a little more to the right. It's lined up perfectly, the center line of that. But when you put it on against the rafters, you see that it's more to the left. You see that? I think that's what the eye catches. Yeah, that's better. Magnifique. Do you want me to go get the other ladder? So it appears that um, the bracket doesn't reach the support system and we have to screw the bracket to the support. So let's see what we could figure out. You're not going to go much more than a quarter turn this okay. way, so I just want to try and Is get this Is it the, the right same. side, by the way? Did I do it right? Do you, want, you want me to go up, hand it to you, or you want to hand it to me? I want to get the seam. Push it up, push it up from the bottom. If anything has to fall, it'll be this, not you, okay? Can we drop it in? Just got in. What? I'm not letting, I'm letting you do it. Yeah. It's not all the way in. Yeah. 
it's a facing to the yeah. Do you see that? No, I think it has to be even Watch. and tight. Just once. Just stay where you were so you can see that side. Okay. So watch. How about now? No. Well? No. There's room. You can see a whole gap here. There. It's in there now. Right? It's in. Let me go look to the other side make sure you put that in. It's just a question. Yeah. We're adding a five foot and then a four foot pipe and then finally the chimney top. Stay tuned to see how this beautiful wood burning stove is working. It actually works. Stay tuned. Looks like the draft is working. I'm going to go outside and see if um, there's no smoke coming in to the yard. That's good. So um, I'm going to go outside and see. I think you closed it too soon. Yeah, just, oh, now there's smoke in the, in the yard. I'm just close it a little bit, not a lot, just a little. Yeah. But I'm going to go outside and see if the chimney is working. I don't see any any smoke seeping out through here, so that seems to be okay. Let's just take a look outside and see. Ah, oh, it's working! Look at the smoke out the chimney! It's working! See, that's a ceramic plate with the Vermont casting logo on it, it gets very hot. So and so, look at this lovely chimney. And it works, it works, it works! Originally, we wanted to put the chimney on the other side so it wouldn't be so visible, but it was important to place it here because of the prevailing wind. So we wanted to make sure that nothing would land on the canvas roof if, you know, any pieces of ashes should be coming out of the chimney. So yeah, it's better this way. And it doesn't look so bad actually. It's a very nice looking chimney, the stainless steel. It's pretty high. It um, passes the height of the dome and that's what we were shooting for. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be trimming these branches that are to the left here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm, I think I need to trim those branches from the trees. So it works. It was a lot of work. There were many snow delays, but we prevailed. And um, the Vermont casting wood burning stove. This is the Aspen. This is the Aspen C3, which is the smallest of their line. And it's just, it, it, it's supposed to exceed what we need as far as um, to heat up the yurt. So. We'll see how long it takes. Right now, we're just doing a small fire. We don't want to do a large fire because we're just trying to cure it. Um, but I already had my first hot cup of tea. <laughs> 